Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can get set up with Samarin Forms to do cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, and Windows Store devices. Um, so if you already have Visual Studio installed, any of the versions, Community works fine, then you would go up to the Tools menu and you click Get Tools and Features, which is going to boot up the Visual Studio installer. Now if you've already installed it, then you should be familiar with this screen. Um, it's basically just reopening it up and down here where it says mobile and gaming, the package that you need to check is mobile development with .NET. It says build cross-platform applications for Android, iOS, and Windows using Xamarin. Uh, when you have that checked, it should say that there's a larger install size, probably something a few gigabytes. Uh, you go ahead and click update or modify and let it run in the background. And then the next time you boot up Visual Studio, you'll be able to actually uh, get started and create a new Xamarin Forms project. Alternatively, if you have not already installed Xamarin, uh, sorry, installed Visual Studio, then you're going to need to do that um, because pretty much all of the Xamarin Forms applications are built within Visual Studio. To my knowledge, I think it's required. Um, anyway, you can pick up Visual Studio at visualstudio.com slash downloads. Uh, once again, community version works fine if you're just an uh, individual developer or a student. Um, if you're working at a company, you might need the professional version, but they probably already have that squared away for you. In any case, where you go from here is that you're going to be installing Visual Studio and you're going to be checking the Xamarin Forms box in the exact same way. So find the executable file to install Xamarin Forms, boot it up, and then when you get to the screen where you choose the workloads out, you want to make sure that mobile development with .NET is checked. And by doing that, Xamarin Forms will work out of the box for you. Now, once you're inside of Visual Studio, to start a new Xamarin Forms project, you go up to File, New, Project. And now when we get to the New Project window, under Visual C Sharp, because that's what Xamarin Forms apps are written in, uh, you should see Cross-Platform App at the top, which is for Xamarin Forms. So all you need to do now is give the project a name and go ahead, hit OK. And you can choose from one of these two templates, Blink App, which basically leaves you with nothing, and Master Detail, which has a little bit set up for you already. Also down here, Code Sharing Strategy, you probably want to read up on this and decide which one you need, Shared Project or Portable Class Libraries. Um, two different ways of sharing code across the different versions in your app. So definitely look up on that. Um, and once you've selected what you want, you go ahead, hit OK, and you can basically just start coding your app. So when you're done, your solution should have five categories under it. The base app, the Android code and assets, iOS, and Windows UWP, Universal Windows Platform. Um, so if all went well, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future coding tutorials.